I'm fucking your bitch, what's next? Playing the ops, nigga, it's like chess. Chess. It's the fucking underground. In today's video, we are watching Underground Disses Part 4. Um, this is a highly requested video, and I am glad to give you guys what you want. So let's stop talking, let's get into this shit. Let's go. Okay. This is from uh, 2019, though, so pretty old, actually. Okay. So basically, Tesco said uh, his mom, Isaiah TG's mom, had a fat ass. Uh, basically, he needs smoke weed for his schizophrenia. It says something about his grandmother. Um. I don't know what happened behind the scenes for him to go that deep because Texaco, I don't think he's a such a aggressive person like that. So whatever happened behind the scenes it must have been pretty bad. But that was from 2019. I'm pretty sure, you know, they forgot. They forgot about that. <laughs> Let's go to the next person. Let's go. A nigga will make. That sound like some shit you'll see on a meme, bro. This was like made, said, uh, this yeah, this is kind of old, This nigga too. used to troll me all the time. I give a fuck, nigga. If the song is ass, I'm going to post that shit, and I'm going to say it's ass. Nigga, it's, it was funny. I don't care. The fuck? But that's besides the point, right? Okay. I mean. I don't fuck with this nigga that they playing, but. This happened this year, apparently. I don't fuck okay. with the nigga they so playing right he, now. I guess he responds. My, my, my two thousand dollars stimulus check. I don't fuck with the nigga they playing right now. Come on, twin, bro. So Duop said that he's flexing what, what a stimulus like, check. For real, twin. Okay. I ain't did shit to you. You can stop trying to. Got I seen this before. What? What shit, made them? What you, made? Man. I don't yeah, not like Duop Kane though. I ain't doing shit. You see what I'm doing? I'm speeding my beam, nigga. How did that beef start? Because that is so random. Was it like a small remark on some music? Because I don't even think they ever met. Nor do they actually know each other. That's so random. What started that one? I know that's pretty old, kind of. But the last one had a date of 2021. When he shot that video with Tysa Korean. The Tysa Korean video shoot. So, um, that's interesting. I wonder, I wonder what started that. If I ever get to talk to him, I'll ask him, like, what started that? Let's go. Next. He doesn't fuck with the uh, Slay World, apparently. Um, I really wouldn't say that at the moment that was this year um i i wouldn't want to get blackballed you feel me because um slay world does have a lot of let's say uh power right now so um let's say you don't fuck with slay world um i'm not dick riding them but they have industry connections at this point and if they're in the industry the underground they run they they basically run the underground same with cash dami um there's other there's artists that are in my eyes blackballed by slay world so um 1030 if you do watch this um i'm not saying be a bitch but that's not really the best decision you feel what i'm saying but you're going up too, but you don't want to burn bridges. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't know what happens. Not my position to pick sides, but all I'm going to say is it's not good to burn bridges when people are who have industry connections. Because I want 1030 to go up too. You feel me? I want everybody in the underground scene to go up. Everybody that I used to listen to. So, just to that advice, not just for Slay World, for anybody, bro. Don't, don't burn bridges. 
especially bridges that have connections with fucking, let's say, Cole Bennett, connections with fucking uh, Rolling Loud. You feel me? They all ha- they all have connections. Labels. You feel me? Don't you don't want to do that? Next person. You and, and I mean like you're going to see it though, like like if if you put yourself in that. In that situation, yeah, like, like you already know, Cash Dummies with RCA. Oh yeah. shit! This is uh, um, this is the video that um, Cash uh, but like, yeah, like, replied to. Okay, to me, like, and it, I didn't see this the video There's yet. Nothing wrong with being so, backed by a company. I'm just trying to. I seen a snippet, but I didn't see this part because um, a lot of people think that you know niggas is really out here by themselves getting it, which I mean. It's not the, it's not the, you know, mm, it's not really what it seems to be. But like, I try to tell people, uh, you know, I try to put, I try okay. to put everybody on game because I mean, it, like, there's people that take this shit serious, like they they want to really succeed in music, but they don't know the business. I mean, he's talking, okay. And some people aren't prepared for the business, and sometimes the business part make niggas quit because they don't know their business. And I try to tell people, look. Don't like one. Don't take an advance. You know, Cash Dummies with RCA, RCA Records. So, um, being that, the f- being that the first time I seen the reason why Cash Dummy started the this, um, I guess Texaco didn't see where, um, I guess he didn't really consider, um, that. Cash might might have took that the wrong way. Maybe he didn't consider that. Definitely, but um, I see where Texaco was trying to say. You know, he was trying to give advice to his fans, but it's really easy to take that as take that advice and see it as hating. It's really easy. So, Cash, you know, being himself, being you know, he ain't just some. You know, like I said, some little nigga from the block no more. Um, he's, you know, has a name for himself now. And when he saw that, he was, I'm assuming he was like, oh, hell nah. Like, even though we're cool, hell nah. Like, you know, like, he's already up, but it's like, I don't sound like you talking down. You feel, you feel what I'm saying? So, I cash, you know, could he took that as hating which i still believe he probably thinks it's hating or he could have took it as advice but cash took it as hating so it's up to you fans to decide if it's hating or advice so let's now get into this i made a video on kind of both of them by the way um but like yeah like pretty interesting trying to tell me it's like and, it, and it's nothing wrong with that too it's nothing wrong with being backed by a company i'm just trying to let people know because uh and he, he not really edit the live but like i try to tell song. people uh you know i try to put i try to put everybody on game because i mean um, Nigga, it ain't what it seem to be. Really, just sound like you ain't even believing me. Nigga, I blew well without a team. You like 26, nigga, I'm 16. I'm living my dream. You could have been on the team, but you just want the clout. We can tell you a fiend. Nigga, you a whole meme. Try to hop on my song and got left on scene. And I ain't signed to RCA, dumbass nigga. I'm signing Republic. You playing with my name, I might have to up it. Your clout ran down, are you causing no ruckus? I might hit the peaks and then ask her to suck it. First of all, I blew up three times without no. Who's that? Been at the girl? Same level for a year, I wonder how that feel. I'm pretty sure you ain't even do no drills, little nigga. I still got men in the field little nigga my bad i mean big ass nigga need, need some car mix on your lip ass nigga on instagram just a you dick see ass nigga. um see your dick when you piss ass nigga i laugh when i first uh yo whip ass nigga might do a oven for some shit ass nigga <laughs> all right so um when i first heard this i laughed you know what i mean it was a funny little song um comical like i said in the other video really very comical um, I really didn't know how, uh, Texaco was going to take the diss. So it was interesting how he took it. He took it in a more serious, mature route while Cash was just like roasting, you know, blah, 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 you know, just roasting. But I do believe Cash was kind of serious. So. I didn't really know where this was going to. 
was going to head, but from this time on, there hasn't really been any talk on it. So, I'm assuming that, you know, like, maybe they talked. I don't know. Or they just forgot about it. But, you know, um, actually, let's... Let's go to Texaco's part. I'm assuming Texaco is the next video. Ramming, nigga. I swear to God, I can't stand niggas. That's why I made a song about the band, niggas. You see my palm next light, nigga. You get smacked with the upper hand, nigga. Man, fuck these niggas talking about, bro. I really don't be on no beef shit, nigga. I really be, like, out here, outside, nigga, looking at the sun. Niggas need to go outside. What the fuck? Niggas lame. Nigga live for the internet, right. that shit it can't be me Making jokes about a fit bit, but in real life niggas can't see me I got the hands, niggas can't be me A couple months niggas wanna be bros, but now they wanna get cloud and switch up Shit so funny to me Niggas just hoes Hey, wait, me. hold up I'ma pimp this bitch like a P.I.M.P. He ain't even 18, he ain't got ID Boy, by the way, before you try to buy me Lost two niggas this month, this shit get rough My mental ain't feeling the same Um Since I made two in-depth videos Which I'm gonna, um leave you know the little box with the videos below at the end of the video um i'm not gonna play the whole song i think we all know how the song sound um like i said you can't really compare both of these songs together because uh one is comical and one is a traditional plug plug and b song so it's like you really can't compare it's just up to you fans to appreciate which one is better you know what i mean obviously you know um i know cash um you feel me so there's gonna be some leniency on his side so my opinion really doesn't matter it's really up to you fans but texaco version was i fucked with it you know because like i said i fuck with texaco's music I'm not some biased ass fanned out nigga, but I'm honest. You feel what I'm saying? So my opinion really doesn't matter in this specific situation, but I could tell you how it is. Um, Texaco did take a more mature route. Um, he could have flamed him back. He didn't do it. Um, and I think he laid the situation to rest. I don't know who did it, but I really haven't heard anything about this. Like I said, from from the date of this video today. Um, so maybe the situation is dead. I don't know. Obviously, the fans are still going crazy on the situation, but I don't. The update, the updates on the situation is not really popping. Like it was a few days ago, a week ago. So, um, I hope they resolve things eventually. Um, cause they seem like they were cool, bro. So hopefully they do resolve things eventually. But like I said, um, can't compare both of these songs. One is comical. One is a traditional Texaco song. Sounded like he could release that song on any other day. So, um, big ups to both of them. Hopefully they both strive to greatness. Film same. But you know, um I got something to say about this list. Um shout out my boy I'm saucy. Um the list was kind of uh the um I understand why you had to span the years for such a long time. It was because the underground scene doesn't really have a lot of uh let's say um documented drama documented beef because it's the underground scene so this is my job this is i'm saucy job to um and other youtubers um trap uh tendious there's other youtubers too shout them out um this is their job our job to give you guys information you feel what i'm saying and also deliver and put y'all on music since there are beginning to be more of us doing coverage on the underground scene, um, expect this list to be more, uh, you know, more recent, more smaller things. You know what I mean? And I'm Saucy will uh, put more emphasis on more recent things in his future videos. 
So, um, let's move 47. It's the fucking underground. And I am.